So for our next installment with these uh, extent leg extensions for the DJI flame wheel frame, um, I've actually here here's the actual just quick profile view of the design. Uh, I posted this to Garage Pilots a while back, and you can grab the SketchUp as well as STL files. But what's really cool is one of my subscribers by the name of Gavin Benson. If you haven't seen his channel, definitely check it out. He's doing a cool uh, tricopter design. So what Gavin has done is he's taken my original design. You can see kind of the uh, view of a what is a bolt together design. There's one side. And so what these will do is you can actually um, bolt these over the top of your uh, flame wheel arms, you know, your sh short arms to get that extension. So what I'm going to do is Gavin has just posted uh, the STL files and get, keep in mind this was all done through Garage Pilots and he kind of took my SketchUp designs, put them into SolidWorks and, uh, you know, iterated on them, made them better. So I'm going to take these, download them, and we're going to print them on the replicator. Here you can see the STL files in MakerWare. So I've taken Gavin's designs, imported them, and you can see them at different angles. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get these ready to print. So we'll go to Make It. I'm not going to save. For now, I'm just going to do a medium quality print so we can test, see how they look, and then later on we can uh, make it a lot tighter with a high resolution print. So we're going to go ahead and make it. All right, we've started the print. You can see the uh, hex holes for four, four millimeter hex bolts and nuts. We're about 14% of the way done. File's coming along, print's coming along very nicely. We're about nine, almost 95% done and you can kind of see the shells and looking good. It's going to hopefully just snap together nicely. Alright, so the arms are ready so I'm going to take them off here in a second and we're going to see how they fit together and see how they fit over the DJI arm. I'm going to go ahead and show you these two pieces. We'll snap them together around the arm. Now if you notice in here there's a little bit of a kind of a edge that I believe just this was the trace from uh, MakerWare when it was converting the STL file to G-code. So I'll have to clean that up. You know, Just take a little knife and chip that out of there. And you'll notice as I try to snap these together, that little piece is preventing that from happening. So let me clean that up and we'll see how this fits. Okay, I've gone ahead, gone ahead and cleaned out that edge. Let's just see how these look with our arm. So once again, I did these on medium print or medium resolution. So you can probably look at that. Nice. And flush. Go ahead and see if I can snap this bottom piece together. Oh yeah. It's pretty good and very, very obviously much sturdier than than my uh, zip tie approach. And that took that took 50 minutes to print just that one set. So you're definitely a time-consuming print, but uh, looks good. And um, thanks to Gavin for the design. Hopefully, he'd be willing to kind of make that uh, an open source deal or put it out there just for others to download. Be sure to check out Gavin's channel. I'll put a link to to his channel in my uh, in the description. He's doing some pretty cool stuff with a tricopter design. But it's pretty neat to you know, put something out in the community and then have someone take it and improve it. And hopefully we can continue to do that. 
uh, with various multi-rotor parts. So be sure to check out garagepilots.com as well for more updates on this kind of stuff. And thanks for watching.